Hello and welcome back to another in our series of short video tutorials on Corel's flagship video editing application, Video Studio Pro X3. There have been several applications added to Video Studio Pro in the new version X3. Some have added new functionality, some have been added to replace existing procedures. In this tutorial, I'd like to cover one of the new features, and that is the ability to print CD and DVD labels. This feature, of course, makes a lot of sense to have, considering the main focus of Video Studio Pro. Not only can you print disc labels with customized titles, but you can also print front and back covers for disc cases and print a booklet for the inside of your disc case. Let's see how all this is accomplished. You can access this feature from either Burn Application, also known as DVD Factory 2010, from Easy Edit, or from the Advanced Editor. I'll start in the Advanced Editor because it may not be as obvious in there and I want to show you where it is. You don't have to have any projects open or any video on the timeline, anything created. Just go to Tools and then either Video Studio Express 2010 or DVD Factory Pro 2010. I'll access the labeling feature from Video Studio Express. The disk label feature can be created with Corel templates or using your own photos. Let's start with using a template. In this case, I can go straight to Print, Disk Label. Along the bottom here, you can see the various templates I get to choose from. There's also a Backgrounds category, which at first glance looks exactly like the previous templates, and well they are, but if you choose a template, then come here and alter the background, it will keep the text color and formatting from the template, just changing the background. Text on any of these can be edited by double-clicking on the text string. Format it by deselecting and selecting it once to bring up the formatting dialog box. You can change the font color, the font itself, the size, the justification, etc. Let me change this text over here as well. You can even designate a wrapping text style if you like that allows you to bring it down around the bottom or around the outside of your label. So that's pretty cool. The background tab is also where we can add and use our own photos. Watch this. Click More Photos, and back in the organizer, I'll find some photographs I would like to use. Once I've done that, I'll click Next to return to the template area. Now notice these along the top. This is for disk label, the front of the case, the back of the case, and for our booklet. So right now, we're obviously in the disk label area, and it's applied my text formatting to the photograph it's brought in. I can still go back and choose any of the templates I like, but now let me add a photo for the front of the case. And if I don't want any of the text on here, I can just slide it right off. There we go. Back of the case. And then one for the booklet. I can also click on the photograph and zoom in and pan around. Excellent. Now that I'm done here, go to Print Settings. Notice I have in my tray at the bottom all the labels I've created. Click on the plus mark on any one of them to add them to your page. So I'll do that with the first disk label. You can only add one label type per page. But if I go over here to my settings under paper style, I choose commercial. Since most of your commercial labels have a two up format, that's exactly what it does. And if I click down here twice, it will add two copies of my disk label to the page. Over here, I can choose one of the many choices of brands that I have. Usually the first one, the category, is a very standard and will probably line up with most of your disk label formats. Once I'm done here, I tell it how many labels I want and go to print. So once I'm done printing, it doesn't actually leave the page. I can come back here and change this. One thing I do need to do is change the paper type back to standard since we're no longer doing disk labels. And now I can print any of the other ones I want to. Very good. I did notice I didn't quite apply the right photograph down here, so I went back and changed that. So really, we're actually done. It's a very simple process from beginning to end. Now, a very important thing to note is you need to be cautious when using DVD labels. Because of the much higher speeds of DVD drives, labels can actually cause an imbalance and thus an unwanted vibration in your player. Therefore, just keep this in mind when using labels for your DVDs. So there you have it. I hope you'll give these disc labels a try for yourself. Thanks again, and we'll see you next time.